Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. And in this part, we are go- No, Super Mario Odyssey! <laughs> I can't call anything what it's supposed to be called for shit in this Let's Play. <laughs> is, the, is, the, is that not awful? Is that not really awful? I wasn't expecting to be going doing like, oh, let's go back and revisit this, uh, this kingdom stuff until like we finished the main story part of the game. But like with the Metro Kingdom, I feel kind of bad for just like not bothering. Oh yeah, the sparkle water. Useful skills that I'll never use. Look, like I said, look, I said it in the last video, the two little cups are... Two little cups are little top hats. It's like, how cute is that? But, um, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, one thing I should have said in the last video, <laughs> which I didn't. Um, one thing I should have said in the last video, uh, was, like, sorry that there haven't been Mario Odyssey videos this week. Um, I'll be very straight with you. I was working on Sunday, like, last weekend, um... So I did not get the chance to record on that day. And the the rest of the week, I was actually, like, working an early shift. So I was getting up at, like, 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, so that I could leave the house at 6 o'clock in the morning. What? Let's just get out of this predicament. <laughs> Let's just get out of this predicament. I can't! I can't! I can't get out of this predicament. The, um... Is there just, like, water everywhere? Is the Metro Kingdom, like, built over water? That's crazy. <laughs> you're, you're crazy, Muriel. Um, or you're terrible, Muriel. We'll go to the heliport, Mario. Um, but yeah, so I was getting up at, like, 5 o'clock in the morning so that I could, uh, so that I could leave the house at, at, at 6 o'clock in the morning. And, um, to, to walk to work, uh, and then, like, working from set, working from 7 a.m. until, like, half three and then coming home again. So, like, the, um, Hi. so I was just extremely tired every evening after coming home from work. That, and I was playing uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus or Arceus or Arceus or whatever you want to call him or Sardo accent on the dough. You really must join us for our upcoming festival. I'd love to show my gratitude to both you and the city with a surprise. Do you think you could find me four backup musicians so I could do a small musical number? Something simple. Well, I got one right here. This is like the... This like is still part of the storyline of the Metro Kingdom of like New Donk City. This, like pretty much we're putting the band back together. We're we're li we're pretty much just like the Blues Brothers in this in, in in this scenario. All we're doing is pretty much going around. We're going getting we're going like getting Matt Guitar Murphy. We're going getting the dry white toast and the four fried chickens. We're going to get the equipment off of the, out of the, we're going getting the equipment from the music shop that Ray Charles owns, where, that, that Ray Charles owns, where he's pretty much like a, where, where he's, where he, the, he, we're in danger of being shot, um, then when we get everyone back together, we're gonna, um, look at this. It's like a part of the part of the wiggler. Oh, there's, there's a moon in there. You got a graffiti soul. The um. Oh, there's the bass player. Who's that? Donald Duck Dunn, isn't it? Is that the? Isn't that the bass player? I think. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna go. We're gonna head to. We're gonna screw screw over the good old boys. Take their gig. And we're gonna make enough money to save the orphanage from that fucking penguin. Yay. Yeah! Mmm! Mmm! Boo! Yeah! Yeah! Boo! 
Listen to this music. We're even grooving! Look at this! Also, I'm, like, running around in my trunks here. I should turn back into Frank Sinatra. I need to be, like, all dre- I, I need to get my suit on for the band. I need to get my own Blues Brothers get up. Where can a guy get changed in this cockamamie town? Is it time for me to actually roll? Like, I never do in this game. Isn't it over here? The Hat District? Yeah, here we go. The Cappy Original Crazy Cap Store! So yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing here. We're going getting all the band back together so we can do one final gig and save the orphanage from the fucking penguin. I feel like the Blues Brothers just like belongs to one of those like... <clears throat> to that like pantheon of films that is like so... Like, so unique. Like, there's just, like, gold statue of Pauline. I'll take the skyscraper dildo, thank you very much. The, um, I feel like the Blues Brothers just, like, belongs to that pantheon of films. That is just, like, so unique. And you can tell that, that pretty much what it is, is that, like, these guys got together and were like, wouldn't this be a great idea? And then they decide to just make the film, you you know? <laughs> His eyes are so scary, he's like, there's no such thing as a coincidence. Look at him. Well, for the gig rates and mayor pays, I am definitely in. And you know, civic pride for new donk and for life and all that, you know? Blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, let's not forget to like run over some Illinois Nazis on the way. <laughs> I'm trying to think like like what are the what do I what am I trying to get across? Like like what I'm trying to say is that there are like kind of like standard films and there are kind of like films that you can tell, as I say, that just like people who who wanted to make the film who who made the film that they wanted to make because of the. They, they, they just like, as I say, like they just made the film that they wanted to make. I don't know what, what, how like else I can, I can say that to be honest. But um, the uh, ooh, get up there. The um. Yeah, like, I can't really think of, like, any, now that I say that, now, now that, I, like, my, my mouth has, like, written the check, written the check, my ass can't catch, cash it, or whatever. Like, maybe, like, the other, oh, here we go, this is how I'll get up there, can I just borrow your taxi, sir? I got street savoir faire here. So why should I worry, why should I care? I, like, like the Goonies, like that. That's actually a good example. The Goonies is a great example. Welcome to my TED talk. The um, like, yeah. On the face of it, the Goonies is like a like a, a like a family adventure movie, I guess, right? But it's like, oh, I forgot about this. But, like, is it really, like, your... It, it's, like, not your average, like, family adventure movie. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, he's, like, on top of this flat iron building, isn't he? <laughs> there, there's... Ne like, I am never gonna be able to do that right. I, like, what is it about this that I can't do? I'm a, is it like the the order that I'm doing it in? Like I I seriously I can't consistently do that move. Here I am like holding up traffic while I'm going to practice. Like when you see like the people. Can you see, like, the people do that, like... 
do like the acrobatics in this game. Like it's It's actually like one of like the most impressive things that I've ever seen is like the level of acrobatics that like people show in playing this game and I, I have pretty much like accepted that I will never be at that level. Like I pretty much ac accepted that I will never be at that level of expertise in, in when it comes to this game. Like, you've seen me play other Mario games, you've seen me play Mario Galaxy, you've seen me play Super Mario Sunshine, and you know that... that... Why can't I do it? I actually just can't do it, I'm physically incapable of doing it, it's just like ridiculous. Maybe I could just wall jump up here like a normal person, instead, <laughs> instead of like trying to do stuff I very obviously can't do. Here's another one of those bullshit plant pots! <laughs> no! What the hell? Here I am, I'm trying to talk about the Goonies and I can't even get a, a thought straight. Um, I guess the answer to the question of like, why why shouldn't I do the... Try and do like the that, that trick with the hat is that like... Well, very obviously you don't have to, the game... <laughs> is that like one of those tricks that like you... you can, are you able to do that? Is there anything in that game, in this game where that's required? I, I really hope not. Like, if there's this... <laughs> I really, really hope not. Because I just can't consistently do it for shit. <laughs> the, um... Oh, I see, like, some some stuff down there. You just keep go playing your... Playing your trumpet there. Like the... Like that one, like, earthbound NPC. I want to fall! No, I don't want to fall! I don't want to fall! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah. The Goonie. <laughs> the Goonie. <laughs> the Goonies. <laughs> the only Goonie here is me. <laughs> Actually, just can't. I can't even anymore. I just can't even process it anymore. Those purple coins can fuck off. <laughs> oh um He's still up there taunting me with that trumpet of his. The um The Goonies is another example. Like they're like it's just not your average family film. You know, there's something like really like unique about it. You know, it just doesn't follow the same conventions, you know? It like it doesn't It doesn't follow like the same conventions. It's very kind of like individual in its nature, you know? Like, that that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I suppose, the, like, the Goonies and the Blues Brothers. Public office. Oh yeah, the underground power plant. I forgot about that. No, I've never seen a pipe in my life. Things are getting, like, moving here. Everybody's moving, everybody's grooving in the love shack! Love shack, baby, love shack! Love shack, baby, that's where it's at! Where, how the hell am I supposed to get into the underground? Oh yeah, I, that's where that stupid taxi was in the way. Oh, it's gone now, great. Invisible pluck wall! I'm moving it. Oh, no I'm not, I was like moving it in the wrong direction. Okay. <laughs> this game just keeps finding new ways to humiliate me. Um, but yeah, coming back to what I was, what I was saying, the, um, like now, now that I, uh, I feel like there must be like some rationale behind like these, uh, these like outcrops here. So yeah, today is Thursday. I actually have a three-day weekend this um, 
I actually have like a, a, a three day weekend this uh, this weekend because because I worked on Sunday. So that's gonna be fun. The um So that's gonna be a that, that's gonna be fun. So like I think actually the way I was saying like after like I was saying in the last video how we went to the, the cinema for what felt like the like to to the cinema for what felt like the first time in, in forever, which it was, really. Um, well, like, actually, tomorrow I'm going to be going to a pub for the first time in two years, pretty much. And, and I actually just can't wait. I really, really, really can't wait. I can't wait to just be able to... Because, like, the thing is, like... Excuse, excuse me. I speak! The ability to speak does not make you intelligent. Ah! <laughs> Very obviously, the ability to speak does not make me intelligent. The, um, like, I actually just can't wait to be, um, in, like, In, in like like the like the pubs were open here like pubs and bars were open here before like in um pubs and bars were open here before in the there's some purple points up there I need to get up here Can I, like, not move these again? Okay, I'm ready this time. I'm ready this time. I'm ready. I'm ready. I want those boots. Thought you could pull a fast one on me, did you? Uh, now how are we gonna- I- I- you know what? I'm actually just gonna play it safe because I- I'm not in the mood for going through all that piranha plant nonsense again. What? The, um... What was I saying? Uh, but, like, the thing is, like, I didn't go. Like, even when they were open, like, technically it was allowed. I pretty much just didn't have any interest in- in- Going to a going to a bar or going to a pub, even though it's something that I would normally have done very regularly. Uh, and the reason for that, how did I know that this was up here? It's like that green star knowledge is what it is. That's that's literally what it is. I think it's like the I think like if you've played Mario Galaxy two. I think if you've, like, played Mario Galaxy 2 and got all the green stars, it teaches you a lot about how to... about how to find moons in this game. Why don't you just do it yourself, so? Um... The, uh... So yeah, so yeah, I didn't, let, but but I didn't really have any 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 interest in going because like the thing is like you had to like when the bars were open before you had to like book to go so you had to go book and sit down and stay where you were and then it's like I can do that at home because then really you're only going to a pub to drink right and and if you're going to do that then you might as well just stay at home and drink and it's cheaper right because you're not actually getting the, the you're not actually getting the the benefit of of what you normally get from from being in a bar name look at these guys which are like 10 frame per second animation the um you're not usually get you're not getting like the same benefit that you usually would get which is like the 
the social interaction and the seeing different people and whatever, you know, when it's just like the general casual atmosphere, that's why you're going to a bar and not to a restaurant or whatever, if you, if you get what I mean. So, like, I actually haven't gone any of the times even when it was possible because I just didn't see the point, right? And I didn't think that, like, the risk was worth it. Um, but now we're actually going, like, two friends of mine and I are going out to a bar for the first time in forever. It's like this bar that's really, really nice and corked that's after, that was done up a couple of years ago. And they have like a kind of a deal going with the, or an understanding with one of the Japanese takeaways, which is like a big, big deal in Cork um, called Miyazaki, which is so good. It is like so, so amazing. Um, like they mostly do rice bowls and things like that. That you can like get food there and bring it into the pub and eat it there. And it is just so good, I can't wait. It's right up your alley, I guarantee it. I know you'll do it proud. Yeah, this is the gig. We got the band back together. This is what I blew off the last time, right? I can't believe, that. that's such like, so like on brand for for my like iconic classic brand of, of Let's Play, right? Where I just obviously, it's like nine minutes of Gilbert Gottfried giving zero fucks on the celebrity apprentice. <laughs> um, like this is literally the centerpiece of the game. Like, it literally is the centerpiece of the entire game. It is this. Like, this is the song from the game. This is like a huge, like, celebratory fireworks, all singing, all dancing, frogs and pigs and, and, and gonzos and dogs and chickens. Like, this is like the centerpiece of the game. Like, it, this is like what... This is what, what they wanted everyone to see, this is what the developers wanted you to see and be like, Oh my god! Right? And then here I go and I'm just like, Yeah, fuck it, I'm just gonna go right on to the seaside kingdom, you know? <laughs> like, it's, just, it's just so bad, but it, it's so right and it's so, uh... As I say, like, it felt, it feels very unbrand, unintentionally for me. Like, this is extremely visually impressive. I really love it. I love the... Like, I, I, I love New Dong City, again, as being, like, almost the photorealistic, like, human world. It's almost like the human kingdom or whatever. And I really love that. It kind of makes me think of... It kind of, like... The Metro Kingdom always kind of makes me think of, like, the, um... Like, the old... Like, the old Mario, like, and what, what I mean by the old Mario was, like, when Mario, like, was from New York, <laughs> like, you know, like, when, like, I'm talking about, like, the old, like, Mario, like, Super Mario Brothers Super Show and, like, shit like that, or, like, the Super Mario World cartoon, like, in Super Mario World, you gotta move fast, <laughs> Don't, like, uh, Yoshi and the Princess, are doing what they can. Super Mario, Super Mario. I'm gonna die here, by the way, just in case you, there was any doubt of that. Um, here's DK, just has to have his name all over the place up in lights. The shame you don't have, like, what I really like is the kind of, like, Final Fantasy 12 style political, political horror where, like, Donkey Kong is, like, house, uh, how, I was going to say Donkey Kong is House Bar House Atreides. <laughs> That's not what I meant to say. I meant to say, like, Donkey Kong is, like, taking over Rabinaster or whatever. Um, and, like, de deposing Pauline as the rightful ruler. So she has to go into exile. That's what I was hoping to see. Donkey Kong is House Atreides. But, yeah, that's what it makes me think of, is, like, um... Can we start, like, do we start dancing if we stand still? Yeah, we do. Look at this. Um, that's what it makes me think of, is, like, when Mario was, like, part of the human world rather than part of the Mushroom Kingdom. And you even had, like, episodes on, like, the Super Mario World show where you'd have, like, they go to the city or they go to the human kingdom. Or there's, like, one episode where randomly, like, the Twilight Zone, this human family, ends up in the Mushroom Kingdom. It's just bizarre. Anyway, I hope that this repays you, Pauline, for me having, like, 
fucked off and left you in the lurch here. I promise it wasn't intentional. But, um, yeah, it, it, it is so cool. Like, I love the kind of Donkey Kong references both in New Donk City and in this part of the game. I guess we did get to see Donkey Kong in retro form. Like, Alf is back in Pog form. Please accept this as a gift. Thank you for releasing me. We even get, like, a special moon get, like, version. Nice one, Mario. Go, Mario, like Rosalina says at the end of before you go to Bowser's Galaxy Generator or whatever it's called. Yeah. Old Blue Eyes himself, Mario. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this part of Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey. I actually called it by its right name for once. I will see you next time. Bye now.